I'm Donna Pikarski, Suzanne. Uh, I have been tutoring students here at the Western Edition Library for uh, the past six, seven years, and I've been uh, tutoring uh, here in San Francisco for about 10 years now, and I enjoy it tremendously. Can you describe your ties? You kind of mentioned it already, but describe your ties to the Western Edition community and how you ended up here. Uh, I moved out here in 2004. I was a paralegal manager in New York. And after many years of working in an office cubicle, I wanted to do something a lot more meaningful. I wanted to take my writing skills uh, and my language skills and use them in a better way. And I enjoy helping uh, students from all around the world here in the Western Edition. What brought you to San Francisco? I had vacationed here for many years, <laughs> on and off. And I would come out here. And then uh, I was working in New York, uh, unfortunately, on September 11th. And like a lot of people, we said to ourselves, what are we doing with our lives? We want to do something more meaningful. And so when I came out here uh, after working in a more traditional job for a couple of years, I realized that gradually <laughs> I developed my own business and uh, started tutoring. And I do a lot of that now. Uh, three quarters of my day is really tutoring students, either on Skype or here in the, in the library. What got you into tutoring? I enjoy it. Uh, I had studied foreign languages myself. Uh, I speak Russian fairly fluently. I've also studied uh, Japanese and Arabic. And so I know what it's like, that frustration of learning a different alphabet, of learning a different language and structure. And so I understand what uh, kids are going through when they have to learn English uh, or they're in a uh, dual language household and they're speaking another language that uh, has different requirements. So I hone in on those uh, language issues. I don't just teach grammar from book. <laughs> I teach it from experience, <laughs> and I help them uh, to achieve more success faster, either in grade school or high school. So you said you tutor predominantly in the Western Edition, or is it all around the city? I tutor in person in the Western Edition. Uh, I then tutor through a, a national website on the web, uh, students and adults as well, but primarily foreign students uh, on Skype. Uh, the students that you uh, serve at the Western Edition Branch Library, mm -hmm. are they from the neighborhood? Are they from the They're from the neighborhood, yes. And are they um, from immigrant families? Are they first generation? They're either first generation here in the United States or they're, they're in fact, from immigrant families. Uh, and my goal is not just to tutor, it is to fill in the gaps so that they can pass the standardized tests, so they have that same level of knowledge uh, and that they can succeed. And they are totally capable of succeeding. Uh, my students have gotten into St. Ignatius, Lowell, uh, convent. Uh, it doesn't matter where they're from. It doesn't matter their economic status. They can do it. If they're motivated, they can do it. And my job is to fill in the gaps and make sure that they can make it. So would you say that this neighborhood is pretty diverse? Um, yes. It's a lot of fun, too. It's also a great place to party. There's always summer festivals. There seems to be always a reason for a festival in the Western Edition, whether it's the Cherry Blossom Festival, the Jazz Festival. We don't run out of festivals over here. So it's, it's a lot of fun, yes. And I was going to ask, what, you know, what's your favorite part about the Western Edition? It seems like that's one of them. <laughs> the, the, the festivals and the music um, and, the, and the partying, there's just always uh, a band going in and a festival in the summer. Uh, it, it is a lot of fun. The diversity of restaurants, uh, the diversity of cultures, it's, it's a great place to be. And is that why you chose the Western Edition as kind of your home base as opposed to the other neighborhoods in the city? It's convenient to downtown, but it has more of a uh, home feel, a little more suburban feel, if you will. Uh, and I enjoy the diversity of, of the neighborhood. Uh, do you have a fond memory of the Western Edition or even in your tutoring or just being in the neighborhood? Um, I, joined the, I enjoy the jazz festival every year um, because you just walk up and down Fillmore and, and the music is, is free and it's wonderful. So uh, that's one of the, the, the nice things about San Francisco every year. Do you miss New York at all? I don't miss all of it. I miss certain people. 
Um, and I value tremendously the experience that it has given me, both uh, financial experience and writing experience. Um, I, I, I wrote almost every day for very tough people. <laughs> so, and it also gave me management experience and an education that I value tremendously, but now I want to use it in a different way. Uh, but why students? Why, why did you decide, you know, you were working with these, you know, tough adults. Right, I was working with tough adults, <laughs> <Yeah>. yes. Uh, <laughs> how, how did you transition? I, um, well, first of all, when I first came out here, I worked part-time for a couple of private after-school programs uh, in the Sunset area. Um, and that got me up to speed with it. I also worked for a tutoring company that specialized in SAT. So it brought my uh, knowledge up to present standards of because the SAT has gotten much harder over the years. So I spent two years working uh, for other companies, uh, learning what is currently on the SAT, what is currently uh, the educational requirements. Certainly the math um, requirements in grade school have increased. So I boned up, if you will, by working for other companies, and then I went on my own. And as a tutor, as an educator, um, do you feel like the education that these kids are getting, do you think that it's, it's good quality? Do, do you think there's a lot of gap? Mm -hmm. Is there, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, my impression is that it's uneven. There's some really great teachers out there uh, that are using a lot of different resources and the web and, and, and so many things. And then there's, you know, teachers that uh, are struggling, if you will. The, part of the problem, too, is class size. When your class gets over 21, 25 students and you're talking 30 students, it's really hard for any teacher, no matter who they are, to, to teach. Um, and there's only so many hours in a day, if you will. So th the public school education is a base. It's not an end all. You know, th there's more that, that the students need if they really want to do well in college. They need more practice writing. They need more practice writing an essay in a timed environment. Um, they need to read a lot more. So I, I look at it that the public school education is a starting point, not an ending point. Um, and I think that although there's, a, there's a, an understanding that the students come from different countries and different backgrounds, but the teachers need to be more attuned to it. Um, they need to just explain things more, use the internet more, make sure that the students know how to research things, uh, how to evaluate lit literature, for instance, uh, how to make history come alive and not just be a date on a book, that kind of thing. What is your approach to tutoring? I use the web uh, a lot, to, and I make sure that my students, if I'm not around, that at 8 o'clock at night, if there's a history issue or a literature issue, they know how to research it online in 10 minutes by going, let's say, to history.com or biography.com. Most presidential speeches are on the web today, and you can actually hear the former president speaking, for instance. It makes history come alive for the students. Um, and I teach them how to think analytically uh, what were the problems faced by that person in that time period or what is the underlying main idea of a book for instance and how to think about those things um, so I want to give them the tools to analyze uh, not just memorize and do you see big differences um, in these students that you teach the biggest compliment for me is they say to me, Donna, the stuff you're giving me is far more interesting than what I have in school. And when I see their language ability and their essay ability uh, get better uh, over a six month period, it makes me very happy. And of course, if they make it into the school that they want to get into, then that's, that's even better. So it sounds like you really enjoy your job. I do, I do enjoy it a lot. Um, so brings me to my last question. What are your hopes and dreams, um, both for yourself personally and for the Western edition community, or you know, just the city as a whole? Um, I want to, to this place to be a diverse community where everyone has the opportunity to succeed, no matter where they're from, no matter their economic status. 
no matter what their issue, they can make it. If they're willing to put in the time studying, they can make it, and I want to see them do that. Do you think there are enough resources out there available to them? There are never enough resources, but the Internet, thank goodness, is, is a wonderful resource, uh, and so much today is available for free, um, which helps. It helps a lot. And then it is, you, you need the guidance to put it all together, if you will. And what are your, what are your personal goals? Uh, I'd like to be tutoring for another probably five or ten years and just leave a legacy of successful people that, that, that have made it. And that's, that's the greatest thing, you know, that, you, that you've given to the next generation. And you're obviously already making <laughs> quite an impact. So. Yes, it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you.